To say it's the third spring for this generation of the Mini Hatch would be an understatement. The Mini 3-door hatch, the Mini 5-door hatch, and the Mini Convertible are all receiving big model updates when it comes to design and technology for 2021. And of course, this happens across the line. The Mini 1 and Cooper, the Mini Cooper S, the electric Mini Cooper SE, and the Mini John Cooper Works. All models of these derivatives profit from this great leap in modernity and purified mininess. The biggest changes to give the new Mini Hatch a fresher and more modern aesthetic happen on the front and on the rear of the exterior. Its characteristic traits, of course, still make the Mini's face a Mini at first sight. The circular headlights and the hexagonal grille, but they come out even more impactful now. The grille is much larger, forming now a single unbroken hexagon. It extends low to the road, dominating the front end look. Within the hexagon, the safety bar on the model update turns from black to body color. Also, the fog lights have been replaced by air intakes, and this enhances aerodynamics and also emphasizes the width and stance of the car. The iconic round headlights come standard as LEDs, also available with adaptive technology. That includes the new bad weather light function, which in return replaces the extra missing fog lights. And the new black lens housing makes the round design stand out even more. We see these particular features on the Cooper S, which of course keeps its upgrade and sporty looks towards the Mini 1 and Cooper also in the new version. The S badge is the first familiar testimony. The bonnet air scoop is still there, opposed to the unbroken bonnet of the Mini 1 and Cooper. And the Mini 1 and Cooper feature a second inner hexagon in chrome, which frames the air intake even more and also the safety bar. The grill surround of the Cooper S shows even further intake features, which are actually borrowed from the Mini John Cooper Works GP, Mini's ultimate racing model. And also these additional air intakes at the bottom are familiar from previous Cooper S models. They find a new integration into the sophisticated, clear new front. Recolor the S badge on the car yellow, and you'll get Mini's most eco-friendly latest family member, the all-electric Mini Cooper SE. It shares the design of the upper front part with the Cooper S indicating the same air scoop. And the lower front is almost the same as the Cooper model, adding the electric vehicle characteristics of cleaner surfacing and a closed off grill section. But you know, the final say in sportiness is still up to the John Cooper Works models. The most powerful mini hatch needs more air intake, and those further vents at the bottom are now arranged in one level with the hexagonal frame. Look how wide and formidable that makes the whole front. The safety bar giving way to more mesh inlays, and of course the motorsport accent of the red blade help to that effect too. The iconic side body profile of the mini hatch remains virtually untouched by the model update. Its staples are still the short overhangs and the long go-kart feeling guaranteeing wheelbase. A couple of things do stick out, however. The newly designed LED turned indicators in the side scuttles for one. The side scuttles with the hockey stick in high gloss black along with the door handles and the mini logos and badging are new parts of the optional piano black exterior. For the Cooper S and John Cooper Works models, this even includes the fuel filler cap. On this particular Mini Cooper SE model, we see the newly available multi-tone design for the contrast roof. The color gradient from dark blue through light blue to black tops off the three-layer body structure in a particularly expressive way. And also thanks to a big leap in spray painting technology, the effect always comes out slightly different. So talk about purified mini spirit and individuality. The multi-tone roof is also available for the combustion drive mini three-door and five-door, and also for the new mini clubman. This body color matching the roof so perfectly is island blue, one of three stunning new mini exterior colors. Now you might be thinking your eyes are playing tricks on you because yes, this Mini is still in standstill. Now these new 18 inch pulse spoke wheels only make the car look like it's already zooming around the corner. And they come among a choice of four more wheel designs in 17 and 18 inch available for the 2021 Mini. 
A prominent part in the new model update can be found on the rear of the new Mini hatch with the new roof spoiler design for the Mini 1 and Cooper models. Furthermore, the distinctive impression for each model is achieved by a new rear apron geometry. The black hexagonal element mirrors the design language of the front. It also takes the familiar stance of the rear view even further. An additional sweeping element in body color above the twin tailpipes and familiar mesh inserts up the impressive impact on the Cooper S. On the Mini 1 and Cooper, the hexagon frames a clean and sophisticated surface with one tailpipe on the side. On the John Cooper Works, this rear apron shows its full racing incarnation with the large mesh inlaid black section and this eye-catching big diffuser. On the Mini Cooper SE, no local emission, no exhaust pipes. Purely electric go-kart feeling is indicated by a clean rear design with a blank off diffuser section. Speaking of, charging possibilities for the new Mini Cooper SE will be as easy and versatile as ever. Well, actually, there'll be an even more convenient and individual charging solution with the flexible fast charger. Now, as part of the new basic equipment of the Mini Cooper SE, this mobile charging device can be adapted to A, different types of electric household sockets, and B, even high voltage outlets, just by exchanging the connection cable. And that's not all. The flexible fast charger then adapts to the electric connection, always charging your Mini with the maximum available charging power. I think it goes without saying. Also, with the new models, Mini caters to all kinds of free and individual spirits. Those with a bit more need in space and long journey capabilities can enjoy these design updates on the Mini 5-door hatch. And for the open-air enthusiasts, the update comes in shape of the Mini Convertible. Fresher on the outside, and you guessed it, fresher on the inside. Just a few touches also make the interior of the three-door and five-door Mini hatch and of the Mini Convertible again feel more grown-up and sophisticated. There is significantly less chrome to be found. The outer air vents are now finished in black and the vents right and left of the center instrument recede completely into the dashboard trim. The trim panel itself now extends in a single piece across the full reach of the dashboard. The center instrument profits from the model update with a black panel design and an 8.8 inch screen now as standard. And as for the steering wheel, Mini has moved the previously optional sport version into the standard offer. The new design of the wheel spokes with black panel concept for the multifunction controls add to the purified impression of the cockpit. As an option, you can now get the new Napa leather steering wheel with gray contrast stitching and high gloss black control panels. And this is something I really love. The lower spoke of this version always shows you immediately which model trim you're in. Speaking of interior surfacing on different models, not just the design character of the Mini models, but also the way you can configure your personal Mini has become clearer with the update. While getting rid of a number of confusing single options, every model spec is now made up of the same modular structure. That means you choose the model, uh, representing your lifestyle and your driving needs, and then you spec it into one of the four trim levels available, matching your personality, and then you can still add some single functional packs for more comfort, convenience, and safety. And then there are still some very special single options that you can choose from to make your individual choice of Mini perfect. The new aluminum interior decor panels, for example, are a standard part of the Mini Yours trim for all models, while the interior of the Mini Cooper SE in combination with the electric trim can be finished exclusively with the new Mini electric surfaces. The upholster design cloth leatherette in black pearl and light checkered is already available for the classic trim and now as an alternative also for the John Cooper Works trim. All upholstery designs now include a single color line for the knee rolls and or armrests. Independent from the interior surfacing in the new mini models is how you set the stage for it with the new ambient lighting arrangement. 
The geometry is now emphasized more by underlighting rather than the previous backlighting to an expressive and stylish effect. While available for all trim variants, the ambient lighting package is linked technologically to the pièce de résistance in every Mini. The new screen design of the center instrument display can be set in two color worlds. And these color worlds extend into the color range of the entire ambient light orchestration. Now I know we're just scratching the surface here, and don't worry, we'll go into further detail with all the clever and convenient new digital mini solutions in another video. But well, one of the coolest bits right away, the fully digital instrument cluster is available for all minis. And more new technologies are available for the updated mini models. Like for example, the optional lane departure warning, the automatic cruise control with stop and go functionality, and steering wheel heating for all steering wheel variants. The new mini models for 2021. A clear, fresh, and purified design containing revolutionized digital services and vehicle technology, and a clear offer to individualize the Mini matching to your spirit and personality. <music>